morning everyone. Hope things are going well. Let's play some Akuja. Let's see, left we left off. We fought a gorilla and a tiger. No wait, we fought a tiger and a bear, yes. Tiger and a bear, that's what it was. That is what it was. Play Genshin Impact. Trust me, bro, trust me. Nah, I'm not really interested in it. Senpai, you seen that circus yet? What's going on Come over here? there? Yeah, I saw it. I went in expecting nothing, but it was actually pretty entertaining. Always wanted to see a tiger ride a ball like that. Only thing I didn't really care for was the ringmaster. Tiger completely ignored him. Yasuda Circus Troop sounds like it's getting pretty popular. I can't really say the same for Yasuda, though. Well, it was the same with the bear. I want to see it at least one more time before they close up. The bear. Going on break. For the thousandth time, new guy, shut off the equipment before leaving the premises. It's fine. I'll be right back. I don't like we get much break time anyway. New guy needs to learn some manners. Well, no surprise there. What do you say we go on break too? I'm starving. Leave the equipment Same. on. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's go get some katsudan. Yes, this is off-brand GTA, of course. So the circus is ending soon, huh? Maybe I should stop by. Chimp Calamity. Oh! It's time for monkey! Wait, flowers. Am I gonna have to fight the monkey in the, uh... In the claw machine? In the doza? In the bucket? There he is. There's the monkey. Oh, he's got a little bow tie. Monkey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to the Grand Animal Circus. We won't be at this location much longer, so we hope you'll enjoy the show till the end. Oh, gotcha guy, you came. Yeah. Look at that monkey. He's dancing. Thank you. I've never seen so many guests before. Really? We're a relatively small circus troop, so it stands to reason that our shows are on a smaller side as well. All these guests here here today because they heard about your breathtaking battle with Catherine. No. Do I watch anime? No. Not in a long time. This is like the most anime thing that I've uh, done in recent years. <laughs> I know, I know, but you can't say this crowd here wasn't worth it. <laughs> worth it for you, maybe. Also, isn't your circus supposed to be moving on? You guys got another town or something to visit? Yes, that's the plan. It's too bad, seeing as we're so popular here, but there are so many people waiting for us nationwide. Does the monkey have abs? Everyone has abs. <laughs> circus life's a lot harder than it looks and that's why we want to give our very best wherever we go I hope you'll enjoy your time here today today's show will feature our chimpanzee Clara chimp what a relief after the bear and the tiger I have expected the next animal to be a even bigger no 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 you should know you never underestimate underestimate a chimpanzee yeah look at him Clara Chan is very smart, and this upcoming show is sure to prove her both her intelligence and wit. You know that's not what you know what I mean by that. Don't be such a nerd. How dare you? You're gonna ask? Does he have nipples now? Her memory is quite exceptional as well. She can memorize almost anything. Down to Jim. But if she's really that smart, couldn't she steal the key and try to make a run for it? Don't want any more trouble. You don't need to worry. I've learned my lesson and changed the locks to those that are required a combination. Thanks to them, I won't need to worry about her any lost or stolen keys. Yeah, but you can memorize everything. 
Now then, come and say hello to Clara. She's a cute one, I tell you. She's quite popular amongst the children, too. Mama, look at the monkey. Huh? <laughs> it sure is. Oh, she's waving at us. Isn't that cute? See, she's quite the entertainer, is she not? She's so cool. Oh, she's really good at climbing. I want to climb like she does. Oh, yes. She's good at climbing trees, too. Watch out, she's Fortnite dancing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are enemies nearby. Yo, Clara's escaped Yo. again. That's three for three. Why do I feel like I'm on some kind of prank show? Mm, perhaps you memorize a lock combination. Yeah, probably. We have to go after her. She went that way. I am swearing off circuses forever. That was a good shot. That was a good monkey shot. I swear she came this way. The hell is she? Well, there she goes. Clara-chan, come back! Don't do it, Clara! Don't do it! Oh, shit. Don't tell me. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Cla Clara's on the digger! Shit, shit! This is bad! Where'd she learn to handle that thing? Haven't you? She must have been watching the construction workers from her cage. Seriously? Son, please, this will be my final request. Please save Clara Chan. If this keeps up, we'll all be in grave danger. <laughs> Monkey, get revenge! Monkey, right now! I heard you the first two times. Clara, let's see what we got here and uh, see what we got going on. Volume seems a little low. All right, let me check. Let me check. Mm, it's the same volume as it's always been, but I'll turn it up for you. How's that? You're in it now. Okay, get out Okay. Let's go. I'm not that down. You wanna go? You're at. about just throw some birds throw the birds birds not bad birds not bad you're 
Monkey, no. Who do I call? I need assistance. I summon you. You've been a good boy. Yes. Well, the pleasure's on. Let's go. I got this. You want to go? What'd you guys not, don't you don't remember that? <laughs> Have fun with this. Big baby still on the top. What about um? Eh, let's do this one real quick. Get some MP back. And Namba can't really do very much against this guy. He's strong against everything. What about uh throw a hand grenade? I'm not that Ah, that doesn't have any. That doesn't do that don't do anything. Let's go! Oh, hang on, we gotta we gotta stop. Let me turn it down just All right. Uh, what about this one? Have you seen this one? Let's get nutty. Ah, oh, he's weak to that. All right. Nonba, uh, just do pigeon rage. Pigeons. Try the stack slap. <laughs> no, but no, don't be scared. Check this out! 
Number, please. Yes, big, big ouchies. Let's do that. And then we'll do Miraculous Voice. Feel better! All right, okay. that was the wrong thing. Watch this. Have fun with this. Gotta hold it together. Get alive. Come on now. Got something for you. Want to fight? Pain in the ass. And there we go. Oh, that money. Monkey okay. out. It's finally stopped. Monkey no, monkey no. Oh, there's the monkey. Yasuda son, where's Clara? Uh, I have her. She seems rather burnt out, but at least she's safe. Oh, good. Okay. Still, what a freaking mess. How the hell we get out of this one? Hey, did you see that? <laughs> that was one heck of a performance. Kill that dog, for good. Is this part of the circus? Gotta be. Perm boy versus the almighty digger chimp. Oh, now that's entertainment. I was on the edge of my seat. Oh, and how about that fire? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed this act. Please enjoy the rest of the show as we present to you another act over on that stage. Wow, there's a stage show too? Think it'll be as exciting as the one we just saw? Let's check it out. Okay. So far, so good. All's well that ends well. Ooh, hot stuff, man. Well, back to the old grind. Wait, huh? Thank you very much for today, Kasuga-san. Please accept this as one last token what of appreciation. What a shot. <laughs> what a shot. The Doll of Torment. I really hope this is the last time. I seriously thought that chimp was gonna kill me. Indeed. I truly can't thank you enough, Kasuga-san. Oh, and this isn't just for all the times you've helped me. It's also for showing Monkey me gone. a whole new side of excitement from the audience. I've been doing this circus for a long time now. Animals riding balls, jumping through hoops, things that you can see at any circus, really. I wasn't able to break this circus away from what's considered old hat. Sure, there were plenty of smiles in the crowd, but was there anything more? Yasuda-san. Next thing you know, we've got a fierce battle between man and bear. Then man and tiger, and finally, man and excavator driving Jim. It was these spectacles that kept the crowd on the edge of their seats, their eyes glued to the performance. The thrill, the surprise, the excitement, the joy, all combined to form some truly immersive experiences. I want to continue providing audiences with more fantastic outings like those. Uh, right. And with that, I have just one last final request. Would you do me the honor of joining our circus? Uh, me? Yes, you and my precious animal make the ultimate team. I'm confident that we could even become Japan's number one circus. Well, I, uh, 
Uh, I'll do my best to get us an excavator of our own. I'll take out a loan. Or would you prefer a dump truck? I'll get a tank for all I care. I ain't joining the circus. Oh, don't be like that. We could be the most famous circus in the world with a troop like ours. <laughs> Look, I'll be real with you. No more animals! Wait, don't go! Kasuga-san! <laughs> Leave me alone! Clara Chan has applied to Ichiban Holdings. Okay. I, I can hire the monkey. I wonder, I wonder what she's good at. Also, what was that what was that thing that he gave me? A little accessory, Doll of Torment. Obtain. What? Is, what job is that? An unspeakable horror. Hmm. I don't know what job that is. It's like bat wings. I'm good. I, I really wish Clara was a uh, a summon, but I mean, I guess she's a uh, she's an employee now. Or at least she can be. There's nothing else to do. Damn. Damn. Yup. There ain't nothing else to do. I mean, I guess I'll do some. Yeah, it's XP up for a certain job, but I don't know what job that is. I know, I wanted to summon her. It would be like you summon the uh, the carnival troop, and it's the bear, the tiger, and the monkey. Nope. It's just, a, uh, it's just an employee. Even though the employees I have now are like platinum level. I mean, uh, one gold monkey isn't too bad, right? I need food first. Over here. No, that won't do. I need a sit-down restaurant. Ah, damn it. I gotta go across the street. No, wait. I think I can actually just eat this. Ah, here we go. Yum, 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 yum. Blood orange highball. Fresh cassie and orange. Oolong tea. Jim Bean. Not Jimmy Bean. Jim Bean. Bourbon. Spicy deep fried octopus. Yum. Saucy yakisoba. Let's get the uh, absolutely tasty takoyaki. Takoyaki. With some... Uh, uh, one of those guys. Wait, I can do Namba. I can level up his bond. All right, hang on a second. Wait one minute. You take me. I mean, we did already complete Namba's story of the uh, the cheap ass whiskey. So, what more is there to do? Maybe like find his brother again or something. And I guess I have uh, something to do with uh, what's his face too, the uh, Virgil, Korean Virgil. Huh? SOS. Man, this guy's got dynamite. Both of them do. Turn to hustle. Here we go. 
Sim, sim, sim. Eh, it didn't last very long, but it's fine. It doesn't need to last long. These guys are weak. Yo, he leaking. He leaking. Hey, thanks for the help. Bye. With finesse. Whoa. Number, number, number. There he is. Hey, you want the uh, the English version of the meme song? Guess I'm up. Movies. I believe. You could find the words. There you go. This one's a real class. No, I've been a fool, and you've been childish. Yes, you this moves me. You got her chasing sweeter dreams. Never could. Go. Hide the truth in your eyes. Go! That's how I knew that smile was a lie. You're killing it! I love you is something you never say. Yeah. Couldn't get it out, always just pulled away. Yeah. So then why? Please won't you tell me why? could find the words to say goodbye yeah. I'm such a mess I'm lost I'm no good at this yeah. I'm in love still in love still in love with you I'm yeah. dry I can't even drink this pain away yeah. memories of you twisting my view why is it the old man? I've been a fool. No, that was the uh, the elder at the homeless camp. I don't know why he was looking at. It. I am assuming it's because it's it's taking the piss out of the song from the other games. I don't know. I don't know. Explain yourself, Namba. Yeah. 
You drinking, Namba? Oh, Ichiban. I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. We do? Is it something serious? Look, I need to tell you I'm sorry for lying. You mean about chasing the counterfeit bill? Yeah. I think you can forgive me. Come on, you know we're past that. What's important is your brother got released. All's well that ends well, right? That said, maybe now's a good time to tell me if there's any other holes in your story. You really were a nurse at some point, right? Well, of course I was a nurse. How else could I have brought you back from the brink of death? Good point. Then what about the part where you sold hospital meds? Didn't you say that's how you got your nursing license revoked? Well, that's the short version, but it's more complicated, actually. What do you mean? <sighs> You'll be the first person I've ever told this to, so I hope you plan on sitting for a while. Yeah, <laughs> man. I'm all ears. Okay. Back in elementary school, I read about Florence Nightingale. That's when I knew I was meant to be a nurse. Helping the sick, people being grateful for it. It's all I ever wanted in life. But when I finally put on my scrubs, it was different. Endless late shifts, difficult patients, never a word of thanks. Eventually, I just stopped caring. Little by little, I started cutting corners any way I could. I'd pretend not to hear the intercom, and instead, I'd go doze off somewhere. By the time I hit 40, I had no idea why I ever went into the field. But then one day, this new girl named Mizue showed up. And in her introduction, she brought up who else but Nightingale. Just like you, huh? <laughs> we had the same role model, but she still had her spirit. She would rush toward every patient in the ward. Never missed a beat. On top of that, she always had the sweetest smile. So, you had a thing for her. Are you kidding me? She was 23 and a looker. And I was just a middle-aged loser. Hmm. Age is only a number, baby. I'm gonna say, you can still be a player. Have you seen those old dudes walking around with hot young arm candy? You gotta be like those guys. Well, those guys also have cash to spare. Not always. If you could clean up a little and stay on top of the trends, I bet you'd be covered in ladies instead of pigeon shit. Wow. Can't believe you'd say that to my face. <sighs> but you're probably right. Yeah, anyway, back to Mizue chan. What happened? Oh, yeah, that's right. Style, Whenever baby. I saw her working. I could feel my old self coming back. That young version of me, who used to give it his all. Well, that's a good sign. If only I had half her stamina and wasn't twice her age. Anyway, one night I was a little sleepier than usual. So I went out to the back lawn, thinking maybe I could sneak in a nap. And suddenly, I heard a noise from behind. I turned around to find the storeroom we keep the medicine in wide open, and Mizue-chan was walking out alone. Was she restocking? I mean, if you were slacking off, she was probably having to bust her ass. Well, that's the thing. In our hospital, only the pharmacists have access to the storeroom. Mizue-chan and I were just nurses. We didn't even need to go in there. And then what was she doing? Well, at the time, there was a rumor floating around the hospital. Uh-oh. Medicine would keep disappearing. The list never matched the inventory. According to the rumors, someone was swiping medicine and selling it. Illegally. No way. And that was Mizue-chan? It was. As my eyes adjusted, I could clearly see her arms were full of medicine boxes. But why would she need to sell medicine? From what I heard, her parents were under a mountain of debt. So, to lighten some of their load, Mizue-chan was paying everything she could. But a single nurse's salary wouldn't get them out of the hole. No way. So she was stealing the meds to do it? Yep. And I was the sole eyewitness. Thing is, Mizue-chan never noticed me there. 
Now, if it was you, Ichiban, what would you have done? Well, calling her out on it would seem to be the right thing to do. But I guess she wasn't stealing it just to be a criminal, huh? Not in the slightest. She was only doing it for her family. I mean, yeah, she was breaking the law. But she wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Plus, getting caught would cost her her job. Then the debt would only have gotten worse. With all that in mind, I'd say it's a pretty tough call to make. Huh. Now you're on the same page I was. Anyway, in the end, all I could do was watch her walk away without saying a word. If there ever was a criminal who deserved a free pass, it was Mizuhei-chan. That was what I thought at the time, so I turned a blind eye. And what happened after that? It wasn't long before Mizuhei-chan's actions caught up with her. The hospital director decided to get the police involved and started gathering evidence. He waited that long to take action? Well, he was trying to resolve it internally, being that the hospital's reputation was at stake. I guess he got sick of having a thief under his nose, so he escalated it to the next logical step. But if the cops caught Mizuhei-chan stealing, that'd be bad news. She'd have a police record and her name in all the papers. To be honest, it was only a matter of time. She had her whole life ahead of her. Now, how could that happen to someone so young? And on the other hand, you've got me. A guy who totally burned out. A guy who couldn't be further from Florence Nightingale. Better a saint like Mizuhei-chan stay at the hospital than a sack of shit like me, wouldn't you say? Namba? Are you telling me you... Yeah. I went up and confessed to the whole thing. Stealing, selling and all. And that's how you lost your nursing license? Yep. No, oh, and I got fired too. Naturally. Man, you went all out for that girl. Did she ever contact you after that? Even a call or a letter? Not that I'm aware. In a matter of hours, I was out of a job and out on the streets. You regret any of it? Well, my brother disappeared not long after, so even if I didn't get canned, I would have quit on my own anyway. So, no, to answer your question. Though I do have to admit, I would like to see Mizuhei-chan off when she goes overseas. She's going overseas? Yeah. She always dreamed of running off to some developing country where they really need medical professionals. She took that Nightingale shit seriously. Our hospital had an international dispatch program available to staff nurses with at least three years tenure. This year would be Mizuhei-chan's third, and I know she would take advantage of it. Well, in that case, why not go say farewell? <sighs> if only I could. For starters, I don't even know when she leaves. Maybe if you ask one of your old nurse buddies, they'll tell you? Don't be ridiculous. I'm the little rat who stole the medicine if you forgot that detail. They want nothing to do with me. Well, hello, boys. Don't worry, the life of the party's here. Care to bring me up to speed? Oh, Sachan. Wait, are you drunk? <laughs> I think you're drunk. Uh, now, fill me in, if you please. Oh, Nama here was going off on one of his hobo horror stories again. Hobo horror stories? Well, no house means no toilet, right? Care to guess what he had to do when he had the shits? Yeah, I'd rather not. And here I was, thinking I'd get actual substance out of two grown men instead of literal crap. <sighs> Thanks for covering for me. I got you, man. I don't mind if we let Sayako know at some point, but preferably not when she's plastered. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Everybody's drunk in this game. He can be the fortune teller now. How you doing, Apollo? Oh, amazing!
Daytona! A little loud, huh? <laughs> oh good, he's gone. Turn it back. No, he's singing Daytona. Daytona was one of the games Sega put out. It's about the Daytona races. And this song was just Daytona! So, that's why. Mm, and, uh, all right, Virgil, tell me your story. We'll make Nambo Hello, a fortune teller. <laughs> Maybe. I must say, this place is quite comfortable. Yeah, ain't it? Also, seriously, man. How's a guy make drinking alone look so cool? Yes, it's easy when you're as handsome as you. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Yo, for real? Yo, I like your yeah, trash bag, man. You're speaking my language, man. You certainly are a mysterious one, Kasuga-san. Songhui speaks highly of you as well. And I dare say it makes me jealous. Oh, come on. Uh, speaking of, have you been with her long? You've got this butler and lady of the house thing going on. It's only been three years since I was brought into the Komijul. I can't say it's been long. No shit. Up until then, I was with a group called the Jingon Mafia. I was their leader's body double. Body double? You mean like a decoy? Just like the real thing? Indeed. If my master was ever targeted by our enemies, I was to be killed in his place. That was my duty. I didn't figure people still did that kind of stuff. Uh, wait, does that mean your face is... An imitation, yes. What you see is a result of large-scale plastic surgery. But I'll have you know my previous face was rather handsome as well. A shame not a single picture of it exists anymore. Really? Out the window then, huh? In a manner of speaking, yes. So that means Junki Han isn't your real name either, right? What's your real name then? <laughs> Surely we're not that close yet, are we? Come on! First step in becoming friends is calling each other by name, right? Hmm, well, isn't this awkward? I'm afraid I'm the type to want a bit more distance with people. Is that how it was with the Jingon Mafia? From the name, I'm guessing it was some sort of Korean Yakuza-like thing. Weren't you once a member of the Tojo clan, Kasuga-san? I'm surprised you've never heard of the Jingon Mafia. I was in the clink for a long time. The Jingon Mafia and the Tojo clan clashed in the 1980s, long before you were serving time. The 80s? Dude, that's 40 years ago. I was just a baby back then. Doubt I even had hair. Yes, I had yet to be born myself. Regardless, early in the decade, the Tojo clan attacked the Jingon Mafia and massacred a great number of them. Around 30 or so. 30? Back then, Kamurocho was the most sought-after territory in all of Asia. I've heard the conflicts for control were rather intense. The Tojo clan was incredibly strong, and they made sure it was a well-known fact. Still, to off 30 of them is... To get their revenge, the Jingon Mafia main arm in Korea sent even more members to Japan, some of them as undercover agents. But deception is a tricky business, and all who could not strike at the heart of the Tojo clan were considered failures and forbidden from returning. In the end, those that couldn't carry out the mission were abandoned and left without any place to go. One of them happened to be my father. Then you were born here, in Japan. Yes, but be that as it may, I don't recall being welcomed here. I wasn't even accepted by any Korean communities either. My family was treated like slime, 
and kicked out from wherever we went. We came to be called the Stray Jingon Mafia, running away whenever we were discovered. Slimes who run away, huh? Should have gone with Maverick. <laughs> hmm. I'll do that one. Stray Jingon Mafia ain't bad, but personally, I think Maverick sounds a hell of a lot cooler. Maverick. One that's strayed from the herd. Maverick Jingon Mafia is a bit of a mouthful, though, isn't it? It's a little much. Yeah, I guess you're right. Stray Jingon it is. No, go stay with Maverick! <laughs> but I will give you points for style, if nothing else. <laughs> Thanks. Literal points for style. So, what happened to the Stray Jingon after that? What do I think his real name was? Dude, it's probably some Japanese name I can't even pronounce. <laughs> even though he's Into Korean. The 21st century, the winter of 2006. Around the time I turned 20, the Jingon Mafia from the mainland made an all out assault against the Tojo clan. But even as that happened, hey, the bad. stray Jingon Mafia hey, received bad. not a word of warning. We were left completely in the dark. Our fathers were entirely forgotten by the countrymen that sent them here. You don't say. I might know a guy who could sympathize with that. Oh? Yeah. He's right in front of you. <laughs> I got tossed out by my family and locked up for 18 years. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That must be why I can't bring myself to hate you, Kasuga-san. So, what happened to the Jingon's big all-out attack? Despite their careful planning, they were ultimately crushed by the Tojo clan. Ironically, those that survived came from all over to join those of us in the Stray Jingon Mafia. <laughs> it was a miserable sight. Both sides cut off from home and left with no choice but to band together in the social sewer of a country that wasn't theirs. Sounds like you struggled. I wouldn't know it from looking at you, though. I could say the same to you. Yeah, finally starting to warm up to me. Hey, what's up, Mo? It would seem so. I haven't been acting much like myself today. I had a great time drinking with you, Kasuga-san. I truly mean that. So whatever happened to the real Junki Han? What's he up to now? He revived the Jingon Mafia roughly three years ago, and at that time had taken over a considerable portion of Kamurocho. But he was shot in the head and killed. I was absent at the time. And it all came crashing down, huh? Wait, then that means... Can't you use your real name now? Why keep up the body double thing? <sighs> you're... Uh, you're not trying to become the real Jungi Han, are you? Uh, who can say? But that's none of your concern, is it, Kasuga-san? Or am I wrong? Nah, uh, you got me there. Yo, what up, Jan? <laughs> Farewell. We out here vibing. he's not the type to open up so easily. <laughs> I'll just have to keep drinking with him. Whoa! Amazing. Yeah, no, I was about to say, the plot twist is that he's the real one and the body double was killed. Alright, we, we want to turn Namba into a fortune teller. Let's see what Namba does. Namba does. Namba does. Namba does. Hello work. But I guess we'll find out about that maybe a little later. So I want to know what the fuck that job is that I got for that, that, that little doll. What is it? What job is it? You see Namba 
telling fortunes, fortunes, uh, you know, I see you, uh, you got a demon attached to you. Yeah. Um, give me a couple bucks and, uh, I can get rid of it for you. Kazam. All right, the demon's gone. What's up, girl? Oh, it's you. I need to be a badass. All right. Uh, let's see. Fortune teller. Oh yeah, he has. He was a chef before. Now he's a fortune teller. One to gaze in the future using a precious jewel might sound bogus, but it's apparently capable of learning miraculous powers to bless one's allies. Okay, so he's a buffer. We don't need a buffer. We need a. We need a damage. Here you are. Yeah, holy water healing. Okay, so this is a healing class. We don't need that. Musician. What do you think? The Bard. Capable learning techniques to inspire your allies to song or dampen the enemy's fighter. Serious? Nah. How about a breaker? Pops, locks, and drops the enemies to the floor. Take your time. Hey, thanks, Jam. Let's do let's do this one. <laughs> I just don't like that green. It's just like, ugh. He be Goro. Citrus, thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I'll throw him in the Goro. By the way, did you a break on you? Um, she's great as an idol. Um, Aerie's fine there. I could go back to Enforcer. And try that out. Because I think I got a good-ass shield now. We'll try that out. Kiru. Kiru. Ichiban. What do you think? But breaker. Essence of the bone crushing bat. Here you are. What's your next? Uh, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll keep. Uh, we'll keep with Foreman. Give him the hero costume. Do your best out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see here. Yes, the Western Shield. I think that's what it was. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good effects from dealer skills. Boost the amount of job XP. Yes, take that. Medal of Honor. Work gloves. Where's the... Isn't there like an HP up? It's a chainmail. Do... Congo chainmail? The name means Invincible Diamond. Alright. Pop him in. And then Nanba. <laughs> I mean, that is, that is what Goro... He did have breakdance style. That is totally a Goro skill. A death boom box. Legendary dancer always has it by his side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
War God's Keystone. Um. Okay. Yes. Why is Namba dressed like that? Because. Now we're going to keep that on. And we'll put on the black belt. Mr. Mind Cooler. Gas mask. Chief's towel. Actually, we'll do that. Um, that's good, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Alright. We're good, boys. <laughs> Get out of the way, Shaco! <laughs> hey, what's up, boys? You wanna check out my new skills? Okay, all right. Watch out for that dancing fool. <gasps> Whoa, radical! Oh, it's so cool! Simp! Shield bash. My man, Mucus. Collapsing chair has been learned. Where is food? Food, 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 food. Then uh, we'll increase the story. Yeah, let's hope he doesn't learn the uh, the knee hold. What's up, boys? Check this out. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Oh, that's right. We're going to take a visit to the uh, the Yakuza head in this area. Let's go see what he's going. Let's see what's going on in here. Huh? Spin to win. Story, 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 Apple, story, story. Little me, story, Apple. You may enter. Thank you, Chairman Hoshino. Captain Takabe said it would be okay for us to talk. I heard. And I believe I already know why you've come. You've done us a great service. I would not still be leader of this clan if it weren't for you. Does that mean the Seiryu clan's gonna pull through? I can't say for sure yet. About 20 to 30 percent of our men defected to the Omi. And the ones who stayed are grumbling behind my back. And it's hard to blame them. They just found out the Jincho standoff was all a sham. Zhao told me he's giving up his position as the leader of the Liu Meng. Songhui is going to lead them. Yes, I know. <laughs> you just know everything, huh? Not everything. But I'll tell you what I do know. Eventually, the Seryu clan will succumb to the Omi Alliance. What? For people who had nowhere to live outside the Grey Zones, the Great Wall of Muscle was their only protection. Mercy. Now it's crumbling. That's a matter of life or death for them. Already rumors are flying into Jincho's political circles. Rumors that Ogikubo's lost his touch. I'm sure Aoki got those whispers going. He never lets a good crisis go to waste. Oh, really? Aoki knows it would destroy the party if it ever revealed their chair, Ogikubo, forged money for years. Now, Aoki can easily blackmail Ogikubo and force him to step down. Aoki will become the new party chair. I don't get it. Why does he want to take Ogikubo's place so bad? The party chair manages elections, so in that role, Aoki could nominate anyone he wants. He'll control the ruling party. Therefore, he'll control the nation. The whole country will be under his thumb? Yes. Especially if I'm right about his next move. I think he's gonna try to dissolve Parliament. <clears throat> oh my god, not Parliament! Dissolve Parliament? At a time like this? That's insane! Prime Minister, I understand how you must feel, being unable to rely on Ogi Kubo Sensei. But honestly, I have the power to support you better than he ever could. If an election were held today, I could guarantee you two thirds of the seats, minimum. Do you have a solid plan for doing that? Yes. I'll send Bleach Japan to the districts where the citizens' liberal party is weakest. Bleach Japan can influence votes anywhere. They're incredibly popular. Plus, they have my endorsement. A victory for the party would, of course, move your personal political goals forward. Oh. Oh. Tell me, do you think you have the power to maintain the party's stability right now? We don't want it breaking up for lack of support from Ogi Kubo Sensei. You can talk that way to the house, but not to me. Appoint me to party chair and hold an election. If you don't, I'll be forced to make public the nature of Ogi Kubo Sensei's crimes. That would mean the end of not only your administration, but the party itself. But there's no precedent for someone serving as both governor and party chair. Besides, you're much too young. If age is what you want, start digging for some old fossil who can stop me. That is, if you think you can find one. Anyone in particular come to mind? Mm. 
the old man is the leader of the uh, the Yakuza in that area. Aki's scheme to destroy the Great Wall worked. Now he's got Mabuchi and the Omi at his command. He's so tiny. So much power vested in just one man. And it had to be Masato Arakawa. No, um, Ichiban's not part of the Yakuza. Not anymore. Kasuga. I know you never intended to be at the center of all this. It was pure coincidence that you were there when the soap landowner died. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Lucky me. But one thing I don't believe is a coincidence is that you ended up in Ijin Show. Huh? What do you mean? Do you still have that fake bill? Yeah, uh, didn't... Uh, didn't you say you knew how it ended up on me? Yes. Only one person in the world could have put that bill in your pocket. Who? Who is it? Masumi Arakawa himself. Arakawa-san? No, he... he's the one who shot me. Yes, I'm aware he shot you. But did you ever consider that maybe he did that so you would end up here? What? That fake bill was his letter of introduction between you and me. It was to let me know that you were one of Masumi Arakawa's men. Uh, kind of a weird way to introduce us, don't you think? I think what it means is, Arakawa's goals do not align with those of Ryo Aoki. Well then, what are Arakawa's goals? I really can't say, but I do know that he means business. He wouldn't have used that bill if he didn't. Chairman, how exactly do you know Arakawa-san? Well, that's a long story. And there's a much better place than here to tell it. Aeon Tower. Aeon Tower? Yes. That's where my fate intertwined with Arakawa's. <sighs> <laughs> he sure seems to be partial to Peking Duck. <gasps> Not the duck! Yeah. Let's have it for lunch tomorrow. My treat. I'll make the reservation. Oh, man. Oh, excuse me. What, you don't like long stories? Share intel with the party. <clears throat> Hello, party. Don't mind me. Daytona! Alright, time to talk about some serious shit. Oh, it went away. <laughs> I want a Daytona in the background. Huh? 
Remember uh, how he said it wasn't a chance that he came to eat okay. Joe? Something like that. Well, you were bleeding out from the gunshot wound. I was working my ass off to find tools to treat you. I doubt you remember. Nah. Deeper than the oceans. Well, I think part of you, part you'll want to know is that one who told me to treat you was none other than the chief. I mean, it was the middle of the night. I was asleep, of course. The chief and a few guys came to me in the panic and asked me to fix you up. Mm. Now that I think about it, why would they care? What's that supposed to mean? You don't need a mot motive to save a dying man, do you? If you were one of us, sure. I would have done it. No questions asked. But getting involved with a shot Yakuza, that's asking for trouble. If they really wanted to save you, why didn't they drop you off at a hospital? Call an ambulance. Huh. But the chief wanted to keep you in-house. So I think the chief must have had a reason he wanted to save you. A reason we still don't know. He might. I think it relates to what Chairman Hoshino said about you being here isn't Yo. just by chance. You think there's more to the chief than we know? Every hobo has a secret hey. hiding. If you got time before you peeking duck date, maybe talking to the chief would be a good idea. Okay. Uh... Let's see here. No side missions. No, no side missions. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll talk with the chief. This is the guy on Namba's picture, or uh, Namba's karaoke song. Now I'm the day. You fools! Face slap butt out. I want to see the fun mission. See if there's a uh, a weapon I can get. You're here. Hey. Black jade anklet. What's oh, expensive? Well, it's uh, pretty damn good. 1.5 mil. Appreciate the business. I can get that. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. me? You again? I had not expected you to return after surviving your brush with the underworld. You must be a competent man. Yeah. You should know, most people avoid me at all costs, whether it be Yakuza or those fully given to darkness. Perhaps my presence threatens them. Well, it does look like you're about to kill someone, but that doesn't bother me. If you were to perish, that would be bad for business. I suggest you contact me if your life is ever in danger. I'll come to your aid. Not for free, of course. Hey, I got a summon. <laughs> Whoa! Itchy bond! So itchy. No, I mean, wait. Um, shit. What's the guy? What, what's the guy's name in Bleach? That's the voice actor who does that voice. I need an ATM. Where's the ATM? Not in here. Ichigo, that's what his name was. Nani? 
Like, the only ATM I know of is at this corner store. Way over here. I have a report of nothing. I need money. Give me... Give me 1.5. Thank you. I'm getting kind of hungry. Could stop by a convenience store or something. Oh, I could go for some chips right about now. I too enjoy potato chips every so often. Yeah, I love the seaweed and salt place. Seaweed? Ugh! Uh, a refined man who's just lightly salted. Nothing more. You do yourself a disservice. The best flavor is constant. Looks like we're split. But what's your favorite flavor, Adachi san? Actually, my uh, stomach can't really handle chips these days, so as long as it's not too many, I'll take pretty much anything. I mean, I used to be able to down a whole bag like it was nothing. It sucks. Why don't we each just get our favorite? Indeed. We should enjoy them while we still can. Hey, don't get all mopey on me. I can still eat them. Just don't overdo it. I'll make you some steamed potatoes sometime. Okay. <laughs> what does seaweed taste like? It's some salty, nasty. Also, I took the long way. I took the long way. Suspicious men! Drop the chair! Bonk. Let's go. I got this. You're gonna get stomped. Hey, check this out. Use the man catcher on him. And then the elbow drop! The crowd goes wild! Check in. There you go. We good. Appreciate the business. All right. Let's check out what that pound mate does. Also, is there anything going on in the city? Nope. Nothing. What's up, boys? Twin Dragon Crossfane. Uh, 
So let's see what we got. I've come from fresh meat. Nothing personal. <gasps> Nothing personal, kid! He said the line! He said the line! There's the chief. Let's check it out. Chief. Hmm? My friend's got some questions uh, about the day I was dumped in this town. Yeah. I want to know why you didn't just abandon Ichiban and dump him at a hospital. If you don't mind telling us, I'm sure we'd all appreciate it. Fine. I'll tell you. It's as good a time as any. Uh, uh, what? There's an old tradition in this homeless camp. A responsibility passed down through the chiefs for many years. What responsibility? On occasion, when we're asked, we... Dispose of bodies. What? Bodies? Yeah. There's a Yakuza family from Kamurocho who pays us to do it. They're called Arakawa. Arakawa? Seriously? They... Uh, was this going on while they were still Tojo? I don't know every detail, but yes. The arrangement existed at that time. It existed before I started living here. We've dealt with all kinds of bodies, whether they've been shot, stabbed, beaten. No matter how nasty, we dug holes and buried them under garbage. Who knows how many are there now? The water. Back during the bubble, we got one every month. Or so I was told. Since I became chief, there's only been three. Damn. Murakawa the assassin. But there's one more secret rule. It applies to anyone the Arakawa bring here alive. A uh, secret within the secret. Great. What happens if they bring someone alive? We're supposed to give the person medical aid, then let them go free while pretending they're dead. Uh, what's up with that? In the criminal underworld, there's always people wanting to fake their own death. Gamblers, guys on the run. Anyone who's afraid someone will hurt them. They send people like that here, and we honor the secret agreement. I think it might actually be a service the Arakawa family provides, but obviously they don't advertise it. So it ended up being a very rare event. Is that agreement why you saved me? This live body rule? <sighs> you got it. What sort of guy dropped me off here? I mean, probably just someone from the family. I had no reason to check or anything. The guy lugged you out of the trunk of a car. You were covered in blood. He paid me and left. Didn't say a single thing the whole time. I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Huh? What the? Nani? Hmm? After Arakawa-san shot me, I think he said something. I think it was, I'm counting on you, Ichi. What would that even mean? No clue. 
But the more I think about it, the more I'm sure he said that. Look, Ichiban. What? No, I don't want to dash your hopes or anything. When you were dumped here, you were on death's doorstep. You're only alive because everything I did went exactly the way we needed it to. But it could have easily gone a different way. I know you want to trust Arakawa, but... I think Arakawa-san had to shoot me. All the other Yakuza at that meeting were watching him. Huh? Never mind. You don't get it. Forget I said anything. Time to go to the tower. Okay. I, I, I can't stop looking for subquests. <laughs> like, oh, is there something to do? Oh. Okay. I'll do a shogi. Don't know what any of that means. Go easy on me, huh? I'm assuming it's kind of like chess, but I don't know how any how anything moves. Okay, so they go forward to capture. I feel like that wasn't a very good move. Uh-oh. I don't know what I'm doing. Seems like I can put him in check. Check! Is for big brains, bruh. Get out of here with that talk. Just because I don't know how to play this. Doesn't mean you can bully me. I know it's chess, but it's like, it's chess, but I don't know what any of the pieces do. <laughs> That's what it is. Like in, for me, it's like you give you give yourself a chessboard, but all the pieces are randomized, or all the you get the normal pieces, but their move sets randomized. That's why I'm like, I don't know what does anything. That's okay. We'll come back.
to that some other time. Maybe if you if you if you read about it and learn, you'll know. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm reminded of people taking pictures of themselves playing chess to look smart, but the pieces are in places they shouldn't, or like their king is already off the board. So it's like, do you even know how to play chess? Social media was a mistake. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, it's way up there. Where are <gasps> Hot dogs. Oh, wait. That ain't a hot dog. That's a burgy. Oh, those pictures are online somewhere. I'm sure you can just look up chess fails or some shit like that. <laughs> I ain't combing through my memes. Reminds you of a picture of a girl being like, oh, look at me, I'm so hot and cooking, but the pan has Skittles in it. I mean, don't you want to taste the rainbow? Hey, I'll go. Spin to win! Give him a little. Let me see the picture. Let me see this. Let me see this. Let me see this. Girls who cook. Skittles. I mean, I guess it's technically, I guess it's trying to say it doesn't matter what they cook. I, I, Hell yeah. Yes, we got Namba back, yep. Hey, cooking cooking Skittles is an art form, all right? It's an art form. She's obviously mastered the art form by keeping the pan off the heat and going in a flicking motion to stir the Skittles. I went ahead and got started. You sure you don't mind treating me? What? Did you, see that? Actually Did you see that sake go nuts? I wish I could, but I don't think they'd take this. It's not like I have like a million yen in my pocket. You don't sound like you're gonna relax during this meal. Depends on what you say. Hopefully I'll relax enough to enjoy the duck. So, uh, how do you know Arakawa-san? I'm on the edge of my seat here. 
It wasn't long after the war the counterfeit bills started being produced in Ijincho. It was top secret. Only the heads of the Seiryu clan and the Liumang, plus some officers, knew about it. Outside of that inner circle, they also had to hire people to smuggle the bills. Smugglers? And one of them was a traveling actor. His name was Toshio Arakawa. He was Masumi Arakawa's father. What? One day, he came to us saying he lost an entire suitcase filled with a hundred mil in fake yen. No excuse in the world could have saved him. A mistake that grave required the Seiryu clan to make an example out of him for the other smugglers. <laughs> but remember, only a few people at the top even knew about the counterfeiting. It wasn't a task they could hand to just anybody. So I, being next in line to inherit the clan, was entrusted to carry it out. So did you... you actually... Yes. I killed Toshio Arakawa. Father of Masumi Arakawa. <gasps> Nani? In this very place. Forty years ago. But I had no idea who was in the room with my target. By the time I learned it was his 14-year-old son. It was too late. I had to go through with the hit, knowing this boy would see his father die. To make my guilt even worse, later I found out why Toshio lost the fake bills. His wife and her lover had stolen them. Those two fell into the ocean and disappeared. Their corpses were never even found. Oh, good. So Arakawa-san lost both his parents. No, this was One before the other. even Arakawa was, other friends, was in the Yakuza. This was way, way before leader. that. Masumi Arakawa became a drifter, along with a few other actors. We're setting up uh, Ichiban's father so figure what other path story was there for them except becoming yakuza in kamurocho what if my car became a kuda Arakawa joined a low-ranking family in the Tojo clan called the Hikawa family. So Vitaly? Life wasn't easy for him there. They were the kind of family that took hits without thinking twice. Really? Yes. So they were always in need of ways to dispose of a body. Masumi Arakawa was tapped to help with that. And he was extremely cautious. Oh wait, engineer! To do it, Get him out of there! Way to the homeless camp in Jincho. Really? Sorry, I only have one can. Even though the family was based in Tokyo, why? Well, truthfully, he wanted an excuse to come to Yokohama because it would afford him opportunities to hunt his father's killer. I see. So Arakawa-san was using the homeless camp to dispose of bodies all the way back then. Indeed. As for his hunt, he researched Yakuza and criminals every time he was here. All he started with was a single clue. His own childhood memory of the suspicious waiter he saw here that night. Eventually, seven years after the murder, I received an invitation to come here. Have I unpacked Palm? What do you mean, the, he these guys? His invitation, Masumi Arakawa. It was a bold declaration, and I knew immediately the running would be futile. So I came here, alone. I didn't even bring a bodyguard. Why the hell not? Well, to put it simply, I was prepared to die. But, I mean... In this line of work, there are no good ways to die. 
And I can think of worse ways to go that would not give that boy the justice he'd earned. The memory of what I'd done to him never left me, you know. It was always like a small bone stuck in my throat. I was sitting right where you are now. Here? Yes. He didn't look a day over 20. But his eyes had that hard, flinty gaze of an old killer. I couldn't help myself. I told him everything. I told him why I killed Toshio Arakawa. I even told him about the secret counterfeiting. I figured I was dead anyway. He had a gun in his hand, and all he had to do was pull the trigger. But he never once interrupted me. When I'd finished, he slowly stood up. Put your memes in the bag. I stopped him as he turned to leave. Didn't you come here for revenge? I asked. And? What did he say? He said, If only you had ignored my invitation, then I could have shot you in the back. Then, he left. Uh, boss. In 1984, the 10,000 yen bill changed from the face of Prince Shotoku to Yukichi Fukuzawa. By that time, Arakawa had found his own Yakuza family, so I sent him a gift. What was it? A fresh batch of crisp, fake bills featuring Yukichi Fukuzawa. They were defective prints with nothing on the back. <laughs> Not exactly legal tender. Then how was that a gift? It's hard to explain. If I had to say, uh, it was out of gratitude. Sure, but for what? I should have died that day I met with Arakawa. I would have been right. And yet he spared me. Not only that, but he lifted a terrible weight from my chest. Furthermore, it's not an exaggeration to say the equilibrium among the Ejin Three continues to this day because of him. Wow. I owe him an unfathomable debt. And one day I must pay it back. The defective bills were how I chose to communicate the sentiment. The counterfeiting secret is Ijincho's weakness. And it was only thanks to Arakawa that the Ijin Three could continue to secretly wield that power. But of course, that means if he ever feels like it was a mistake to let me live. He can use the fake bills to unravel everything I've built. The gift wasn't the bills themselves. They were leverage. I actually wrote something on the back to that effect. Neither justice nor mercy should tip the scale. It means that those in power must reward and punish where necessary. I felt it was an appropriate message. I suppose the writing has faded at this point. Whoa. So that's the whole story. Up till this moment. But now I'm sitting across from a man holding one of those fake pills. Which, of course, is a message from Arakawa that only I could understand. The message is, Masumi Arakawa sees you as a beloved family member. Arakawa-san, 
thinks of me as family. He would not have placed that bill in your pocket lightly. Do you see its significance now? After everything I've told you? <clears throat> there is almost no doubt in my mind that Arakawa did not want you killed. So he didn't shoot you out of malice. He shot you so that you would be brought here, be saved by the homeless, and eventually meet up with me. Do you see? <clears throat> That's everything I can tell you. That's plenty. Thank you, Chairman. I see it all now. <laughs> I always kind of figured. You did? Well, it's your move now. I've only told you what I know, so... It's okay. That's enough. I trust you. <laughs> well, I don't hear that often. Yeah, neither do I. Not even from my friends. But those friends are trustworthy to me. And so are you. I believe everything you said. And my faith in Arakawa-san is coming back strong. Kasuga. Yeah? Are you a blood relative of Arakawa's? <laughs> no, it's not like that. I see. Well, he must have been happy to have such loyalty as yours. As proud as any father, I think. The duck. Wait a second. Oh, good. We actually get to eat the duck. It only took 11 chapters. Nagatacho has been rocked by party chair Ogikubo's sudden retirement due to illness. Long a central figure in politics, Ogikubo was the prime minister's last ally in keeping parliament together. What duck? An the duck. shall be held to reaffirm the will of the people. I look forward to a new citizens liberal party and a new cabinet. The prime minister made more shockwaves later that day. In the afternoon, he announced he would appoint Ryo Aoki to Ogi Kubo's now vacant So, Ryo Aoki was Aoki threatening uh, this guy to, also serve as to dissolve party's parliament. Chair. This bold move is sure to have ripple effects. And it looks like it, uh, it, it succeeded. Because Ryo Aoki, I guess he just wants power. How are you feeling, former chairman? Surely the governor of Tokyo can read. My sign says no visitors. <laughs> oh, suddenly rules are important to you. Naturally. Shouldn't you concern yourself with the rules you've already broken? I'm just laughing because For it's example, probably just a head. Counterfeiting. Your crimes In the model, the it's just a head. <laughs> risk. Do you know how many lives were saved by what you call a crime? Oh, no. Hundreds. All right, it's Any just a torso. Any politician can say they built a road or passed a law, but how many can say they caught people who fell through the cracks? You think you're talented enough to do that in my stead? <laughs> oh, I've got plenty of talents. I just use them very differently compared to you. For example. I managed to fit your downfall into my already very busy schedule. The governor is the party chair. Nothing could be more ripe for corruption. Oh. Everything I'm gonna do will be labeled scandalous by withered old men like you. But by next year, Japan will have a new standard, and it will have been written by me. Me. What the fuck? Spoken like a true amateur. Amateur, huh? Let me ask you. Do you remember my first election ten years ago? 
Why is the bed so far down? Party endorsement. You insult. It's like at knee level. Your exact words were, "Bleach Japan is a bunch of kids playing at politics." Your home district is Kanagawa Second, isn't that right? I'm happy to tell you, Bleach Japan will be running a candidate there in the next election cycle, and he'll have the Citizens Liberal Party's ringing endorsement. Mwah. How does it feel to have everything taken from you by a bunch of kids? Mwah. Love you, bro. Victory in Kanagawa's district two is all but certain. So I've come up with a plan for taking out the trash in Ijincho. Of course, we'll probably lose half the population. Are you calling the people of Ijincho trash? I'm calling them disposable. Pardon me. He's just gonna pull the plug on him, isn't he? People who fell through the cracks. Can't you see that's their own fault for becoming so dependent on the gray zones? They're responsible for maintaining their home, and they fail. That's what makes them disposable. But I must be going. As I said, I've got a busy schedule. Happy retirement, my former chair. I truly wish that for you. <sighs> I hope you'll visit Ijincho after its beautiful new developments are complete. You'll hardly recognize it, and I can't wait to see the look on it's your face when you see bulldoze it. it and build out some. Uh... Hey, Vic, my nurse. So he just wants to bulldoze everything and build it again. Pull it out from its roots. Where's the nurse? You gotta show me something special. Okay. It's a sticker. Okay. It's like a little kid going, Okay, they now they kiss! So, it's your hideout? Yep, go ahead. Make yourself at home. I'd love to, but, uh, where could I even do that? Yes, the square footage of this place leaves something to be desired. Well, excuse me. I'm hearing some pretty high standards for a couple of pad crashers. We're not crashing it. Nambasan gave us permission. That's a good sticker. <laughs> Who the hell says no to Jungi Han when he has to stay the night? I mean, it's freaking Jungi Han. Hey, where are the rest of your people now that Komi Jewel HQ is gone? They're fixing the surveillance system. It will take some time for it to be fully restored. Well, I get why Jun Gihan is staying here since his place is a pile of ashes. But what's Zhao's excuse? It's not like I could just keep living in Ching Chen after stepping down from the Liu Meng. New party member? Right message. So, I've joined the ranks of the homeless. Still doesn't explain why you need to stay here. Maybe because information collects where people do. And this group does seem to be in the know. We do? But we don't even know what happened to Bleach Japan. Did the police ever put a stop to all that craziness? The police? kasuga -kun. Haven't you seen the news? No, I haven't had the time. Well, Bleach Japan's reputation in Ijincho, hell all of Japan, is golden after the Komijo thing. What? Oh yeah, you wouldn't believe the headlines. Despite peril, brave Bleach Japan topples Komijo gang. Grassroots org achieves what police never could. Shit like that. Wow, great journalism. 
No spin at all. That's not even the worst of it. The reports say that Komiju committed arson during its fight with Bleach Japan. And in the blaze, Bleach Japan director Ogasawara perished. He's dead? What Nani? happened? He was definitely alive after the fire. That's when we interrogated him. Yeah, then the Omi Alliance rescued him. Why would he be... <gasps> Wait, did they? Yes, they probably killed him. I had that thought right away. At least he died the way he wanted to, as a hero of the revolution. That guy? A hero? Why they kill him? Because he squawked like a bird when you interrogated him. Why wouldn't they off the guy? Now they're just milking his death for all it's worth. Honestly, it's a brilliant move, making it look like he died in the Comey Jewel fire. No crime reports, cops and doctors wouldn't bat an eye. And Bleach Japan gets a nice, tragic death to go on about. Ugh, damn. I wish we'd picked a fight with dumber enemies. But what can we do? Go to the police and explain how we abducted Ogasawara? What would be the point? Half the force is on Mabuchi's payroll. No, they would just book our asses. So Aoki has everyone marching along to his little tune. All in step. Young master. Okay, Bleach Japan's got us by the short hairs there. But what about the fact they were trespassing on Komijo property? Well, they must have figured the public would think the ends justified the means. And they were right. The public thinks Bleach Japan is the hero of this story. The police will never prosecute them for trespassing. At this rate, the Komi Jewel and the Liu Mong are going to be extinct in Ijincho. And people like you who give us shelter will be an endangered species. I wish I didn't have to say this, but I suggest you make other living arrangements. I can't. I'm waiting for someone to contact me here. Who? Arakawa-san, he's about to go all in with his next gamble. When that happens, he'll need strong allies. More than he's already got? I can't say anymore. I'm sorry. Me too. I'll be in touch. Hmm. <laughs> well then. But isn't Masumi Arakawa the man who shot you? The boss wasn't trying to kill me. He shot me so I could live. Sorry, but don't you think that's still kind of fucked up? It's a long story. Buy me a beer sometime and I'll tell you all about it. But right now, while we've got you on the team, we need to get shit done. And we need to stock up on money and supplies because nobody knows what the hell will happen next. That's for sure. Zhao's join the party. I see that rain. With all the great wall of muscle in Yokohama's rising crime rate, the city's villains grow even more powerful. Formidable never seen before foes. How about never seen before subquests? There's nothing! Zao's rather demanding experience as leader. Toughen them against bleed, fear, rage, and silence. Alright. Hello! Hey, Ichiban, how you hey. doing? I'm doing okay, how about you? Oh, good, good. Can I ask you a favor? Think you could take out the trash for me? I'm just cleaning house at my place, and there's some stuff I don't need anymore. No rush. Just stop by when you have time. I can't lift it. I'll wait for you at my place. All right. Hamako was the old matron of my 10x10 10 10 living arrangements.
she was the madame of that uh, little um, night spot. Yo, dude, level 44! Oh shit, dude! Knight of the Cask! Uh, these guys are a little higher level than, um, uh, um, uh oh. <laughs> you gonna fucking die, Apple? No, 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 no. No, watch this. Love Drunk Typhoon. We're good. Only one simp, and he's already on fire. I recognize that move. Show feet. Show feet. Yo, took his head out. All those levels. All right, things have uh, upgraded. All right, so let's go. I guess we'll just go to the matron, see what's going on. Go that up. Who's going too fast? He's going too fast. The blind seer. Dot com batten. <laughs> Shut up. Mucus, what did you do? Did you show Rain the secret sticker library? You did, didn't you? The Pepidora's box. Ah, he's molding with the with the walls. Hell yeah. Namba is now a breaker. Yes, he he's a break dancer now. I was gonna make him a fortune teller, but fortune tellers are healers. Um, so I made him a breaker. And he has Goro Majima's um, suit on. Because remember, Goro Majima had breakdance style. It fits pretty well. And I think it's pretty good that I, uh, I picked the breaker. It's pretty good! Here we go. 
You all right there, Seiko? Oh, they're all simps. Oh, they're all of them. Every single one. Give them a little... Drop the elbow. Booyah! Namba had such moves. Nice. Oh. Um, if you didn't catch the story of Namba and why he's not a nurse anymore, is that he... There was a... Uh, a lady in the hospital who was stealing the medicine and selling it to get rid of her family's debt and Namba took the blame for it to save her ass. Because she was young and she had potential and Namba said, it, said that he was mid-40s and already burnt out. Amazing. junk son what's all this didn't i tell you i'm decluttering <laughs> i lugged all this out here by myself oh i'm beat ew look at all those stains i was hoping you big strong men might do the rest you buying new futons or something business must be good wait there's no one here where are the girls they all quit what I'm closing up shop. Huh? Uh. Eugene Show Revitalization Shelter. It's a facility in Hamakita Park. Bleach Japan set it up. Girls from the industry and their families can live there free of charge. For free? Damn. And all your girls went there? Sure did. Why wouldn't they? The facility's offering job training and legal help with visas. No better place for girls like them who don't have citizenship. And Bleach Japan is behind this whole operation? Yeah, they're being useful for once. They're gonna open more just like it, too. And they even offered to buy my place and turn it into a shelter. But then what are you going to do? This place is your bread and butter, isn't it? Oh, they thought of that. They gave me a job at the shelter. I'm gonna be the dorm mother. But who's oh, paying for all day. this? And perfect for a feisty old gal like me. Gotta say, I'm coming around on these do-gooders. But where do they get all the money? Don't you remember what they put you through? Sure, they were annoying. Bunch of kids tramping around, shouting shit they heard in prep school. But hey, now they're putting their money where their mouth is. It wasn't just a bunch of whining. 
They actually did something about it. And I don't trust the them. Were Rio Alki's idea. I have to say, it's pretty damn genius of him. Not to be a downer, but don't you think he's basically just buying votes? Once the election is over, I bet you he's gonna forget all about these shelters. Yeah, seriously. Politicians pull this shit all the time. But you don't know him. You can't just assume he's like that. Yes, I can. Besides, you <laughs> yes, I can. For my girls? <laughs> Any spare rooms you'll let them live in? I'll have you know, Aoki-san came all the way out to Ajincho today. Wait, he's in town? He's attending Ogasawara-san's funeral. See? That shows he's a good guy. The guy's got a million things on his plate, but still carves out time for a friend. You've got no business bad-mouthing him when you don't even know him. Oh, touchy, huh? The young master. Here in the Eugene show. You gonna go see him? Yeah. There's stuff I want to ask him about. Me too. Like what his connection to Horonouchi is. You guys are nuts. Well, what's your plan? Stroll up and demand a meeting with the most powerful man in Tokyo? Oh, funerals are easy to sneak into. Everyone's too polite to ask questions. Why are you supporting this lunacy? Sorry, Hamako-san. But do you mind if I get rid of your trash some other day? What's wrong with now? <laughs> There's just this thing I gotta take care of. Fine. Just don't leave me hanging, okay? <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. So does anyone know where this funeral is? If it's any Jincho, it's gotta be at the morgue on Central. That's where Nonomiya's funeral was. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's roll on over there. Yo, we're gonna crash this funeral. But first... I have a report. Fluffy knitted cat. Whoa! I'm a senior hero. Definitely ready for winter with that hat. There's seriously no subquest. I can't believe there's no subquest. I am gonna quit the game forever now. Oh, there it is. Ogasawara kun. I remember the day we met like it was yesterday. Nice. There's still time. Hey, let us through. We're here to pay our respects. Hey, are you with Bleach Japan? No, but we knew Ogasawara. Not good enough. The ceremony's just for family and Bleach Japan members. Well, maybe they'll let us light some incense. <laughs> they aren't even allowing journalists like me in. This monitor is all we get. Today, we celebrate Ogasawara-kun's memory. We do so here in Ijincho. The city of his heart and soul. Yeah, well, at least I got the I got to fight a chimpanzee and a uh, a digger. Yearn to see this city reborn. So it was only six whatever. months ago that you came here with your family, and I remember how eager you were to change this town for the better. It became your passion in life. But one cannot truly care about a city until they become one of its people. Which is why I was so moved when you chose to reside in Ijincho. There is no greater that was the guy that the we leave behind in death. The, the were one of the leaders of Bleach Japan. I know this. That we caught with all the Yakuza life, dudes. As your peer who shared your ambitions. But most of all. Simply as a friend, you left too soon. And he told us all about the plans, this and then Police Japan place. probably threw him in the fire and killed him. And so, what choice do we have but to face the future without you? We look to Kumekun, the protege to whom you entrusted so much. He has stepped forward to carry on your dream. And is there any greater honor than when, in our passing, Someone else picks up the torch where we left it. 
You and I always believed we could help people find their way together. Which is why, in the coming election, I will throw the entirety of my support behind Kume. Kume. I say this not as the Citizens Liberal Party Chair, but for you, Ogasawara Kume. As your friend who would see your dream come true. I swear to do everything in my power to bring your dream, Free Jincho, to fruition. That is the least I can do for you, my old friend. Rest now and smile down on us from heaven. <sighs> Because remember, these were the guys that Namba went to. <laughs> when he was trying to find his brother and he was trying to uh, break the story of the counterfeit. A little party. And remember, Kube was that, it was like the first dude of Bleach Japan that we met, and he was like, No, oh, you guys gotta shut down this, this soap land. You, yeah, no. Ogasawara san. We will continue your work for you. Just listen to this governor really cares he's in more grief than anyone here and he still gave a speech strong man given a strong he, he was like the reoccurring he character really he was like front line of bleach japan he was like that little oh, then he's quite the actor that little that little butt it's grooming kume for political office what the hell is his plan hey there he is Wonder if he's gonna notice. Let's move. Oh. How many seats is the Citizens Liberal Party targeting this cycle? Any comment? Alkison, should we take your statement today as a campaign launch announcement? Any comment at all? Just a soundbite, Alkison. Clear the way. What's your motive for holding a new election? Hey, don't push. I said don't push. Hey, don't push me. Right, folks, let him through. Let him through. Alki. Hey, Governor Alki. That's no good. Can't even get close. Let's head him off. How? It's not like the governor took a train here. He's got to have a car nearby. Sure, but how are you going to find it? Check every parking spot in the neighborhood? You know, I once read in some tabloid that celebrities park underground to avoid the paparazzi. Aoki probably uses the same strategy, don't you think? Yeah, that's a thought. Any underground lots around here? Yeah, there's a big one. Its entrance is by the river. Great. Let's check it out. Are we gonna find it? We're gonna find it, are we? <laughs> it's a big assumption, but it's the best we got. Watch out, we got bottle bums. Upswing smash. Yo, watch out, he's leaking. It's only leaking for five, all right. Boy, he's leaking. Look at him. Look at him. He's leaking. See? He's leaking. The 
the hell was that? It sounded like a pig squeal. Nanda! Nanda! Damn it! Alright, well... This was all your fault. For now, I shall call... Uh... This guy. Meat Man! We're holding up traffic, yeah. <laughs> Meat. Now, uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Damn, damn, what do we do now? They rented everything out. Just go in the elevator. Some kind of hidden elevator. Hmm. hmm. That's it. There is one. For real? A few years back, I got really drunk, and when I came to, I was in an elevator. What a coincidence. When the doors opened, I was in an underground parking structure. I bet they overlooked that one. <laughs> I got drunk one time. I found myself in the secret lair. Oh, uh, we gotta get drunk again to remember. Yo. Dude, that's the most important part. Like I said, I was drunk. But now that I think about it, that must mean I was in a building with a bar. Yep. And if the garage is underground by the river, then it has to be somewhere along the river, too. Building with a bar by the river. That narrows it down enough. I yeah. All right, let's get looking. Okay. Let's see. Um, Ichiban Confections. Well, I guess there it is right there. You want me to call the chicken? Well, the chicken heals. I mean, it's not much of research because these are the only two places right here, so... I mean, it's good to point me in the right direction. Okay. Don't get caught. That's a big parking garage. Well, the, uh, remember in Yakuza 0, the giant underground arena, that in only, the only way to get to it is an elevator on a boat in the middle of, get out. That was a thing, yes. <laughs> yup. <laughs> It was it was an, a massive arena where the only way to get to it was an elevator on a boat in the middle of a canal. Right. 
I mean, it's a it, it's a fantasy game with some t some tidbits of reality. So, eh, no worries. The Atlas Hole. Yeah, my back. The premium sushi set, just sitting out here. Oh, there it is. Found it. Hey, yeah. Check it out. An elevator. <laughs> Looks like it's still running. Let's get okay. in there. Whoa. Yes, the boat was definitely a prop, but it was funny when it happened. Copy that. We'll be ready to move out right away. Start the car. The governor's en route. Bingo. You were right on the money, Sachan. Let's do this. Stop! Identify yourselves! What are you doing here? Chill out, fellas. Just want to talk to the governor. Not a chance! Get back! Code Red, we got trespassers! Mr. Governor, this way! Trespassers? Don't make assumptions, pal. Then who are you? Are you media? We're fans of the governor. We just want to shake his hand, okay? Not right now. Please? Come on. You can't. We'll just take a second. The governor ain't got time. Take a walk, Jack. Take a walk, Jack? <laughs> you from Kansai? You got a problem with that? Well, you got sunglasses in the dark, uh... your own. as his bodyguards. Unreal. Shut up! I'm a civilian working security. Speaking Kansai don't automatically make someone owe me, you damn smart ass. Hey, you know, just speaking Kansai. Yeah, get out of here, you know? You assumed we were trespassers. Because that's what you are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just calm down now. now why don't you do yourself a favor and step aside? If not, we'll have to... Freeze! Oh, easy. That's quite the weapon you got there. I was only gonna ask for a light, man. Why's a local security guard packing something like that, anyway? Asshole! I'm about to shoot you just because you're annoying! <laughs> With the safety on? Huh? <laughs> Gotcha, fucking rookie. <laughs> you think I'm playing, you dried up sack? They wanna the guys in the car just watching. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. It's all right. We can uh, do this. No 
Don't let him do it to you, Namba. Don't let him do it to you. Do this. A little over leveled. Bully, 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 bully. Bully, 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 bully. Look at me go. Strong. Yeah. What? What? Yum. He's got to get his men, right? What have you done? Uh, Mr. Governor. Can't you tell the difference between thugs and law-abiding citizens? What's wrong with you? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We are terribly sorry about this. Do you need medical attention? I never thought I'd see the day when my own guards hurt a citizen. Oh, he doesn't know. I'm just glad I saw the scuffle in the rearview mirror. Please, let me help you up. Sir. Young master. Oh, he does know. Tonight, go to Orohime land alone. I'll do the same. It's such a relief that none of you were hurt. Please accept my sincere apologies for all of this. I'd also like to apologize on behalf of my guards. I'll be giving them a strict lecture later. But for now, I must ask that you excuse me. I'm late for an appointment. Listen. What did I hope yeah. you Meet at Orohime land tonight. On one condition that we meet alone. He's going alone, so I'll do the same. I really think you can trust him. Mm. Reeks of a trap to me. <laughs> Doubt every step we take will never get anywhere. It's a chance I've been waiting for. So you're doing it, huh? Yeah, totally. Hey. Then we'll at least hide nearby so we can help if you need no. us. It'll be fine. What makes you so sure? It's still possible that he'll keep his word and show alone. Don't believe that for a second. You've seen how calculated every move has been, haven't you? Yeah, but if he does, uh, uh, and I don't, I'm the scum of the earth. I'm not going to be that guy. I don't think it's that guy kind of situation, though. Yo. Better be ready for anything. We got time before okay. nightfall. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> pop in, pop out. Make sure you say. I mean, yeah, it's been like, what, 18 years since he's last seen uh, Ichiban. And he's got a different hairstyle. But then again, I guess, you know, everyone's has everyone has been keeping tabs on uh, Ichiban. So 
He probably has as well. Ooh. Chilled tomatoes. Topped with onions and dressing. And... Give me yakitori with some... Hmm. With a salad? Nah. That's not a Caesar salad. That does not look like a Caesar salad to me. Crunchy fried chicken skin. Ooh. Crispy fried smaller sized shrimp. No, no, no. Give me some of that chicken skin. And we'll wash it down with uh, some good old malt liquor. Who's hungry? Me! Me. Mm, nothing like crispy fried chicken skin. It may be oily, but damn if it ain't delicious. Do I even know what a salad is? Gotta of course, man. Thing, isn't it? Almost like junk food. Gotta get that, uh, gotta get that fiber. Poultry, have you ever had Peking duck? It's pretty popular around it's here. It's all about the fucking duck! King Duck. Why would you eat chicken skin? Bruh. You ever hear of Kentucky Fried no, Chicken? I Every time I go to a Chinese restaurant, I never see it. Really wish I had, though. Interesting. Then how about when everything calms down, I make you the best Peking Duck you ever had? <laughs> All right. Wouldn't expect anything less than the best from you, Zhao. If anything, we'll have it with the team. It'll be our victory feast. That's gonna be the end. <gasps> that's gonna be the end screenshot. Is them all eating uh, the Peking duck? Oh, there's room for one more person. It looks like. Who is Zhao? Zhao is the. He was the old leader of the Chinese mafia. Yes, he's also known as General Zhao's Chicken. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's going on up there? Yo! Yo, who's breaking shit? I won't go up there. We got some we got some Hawaiian up there. Like they're just the uh, just the part-time heroes. Officer of the Lawless, Sledge Harmer. That's what the skill was like in Yakuza Zero, too. That move is so amazing. Bonk. Oh, 
Oh yeah, remember this one? Was it this one? Wait. Wasn't there like a like a misspelling around here? Oh yeah, club. Kub. Korean kub. What's going on in here? This could get rough. <gasps> Who's that? Right. Tribes brute. Let's see how you guys like this. <laughs> Urban Ranger. I remembered. Yep, I remembered. He's paralyzed. Capture, capture. Yeah. I wonder what the uh, Soji Sujimon Sujimon professor has to say. With finesse. Whoa. Wait, wasn't there like a? Some gold? Ah, yes, there was. Should I open it? Sweet. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Unable to be affected by rage. Nothing. Got anything back here? Nope. Watch out, excuse me, coming through. I wonder if I can do this. Let's see if we can make any uh anything anything new or upgrade. The new Pluto. The beer zerkers. Seiko, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Do you ever actually make anything on your job? Yeah, the experience! <laughs> What's up, girl? I need volcanic passion. And... Oh, I only need 10 mil. Only. Only need 10 mil. Look, I can make one of these. Raw platinum ore. Hmm. A cyber helmet. An otherworldly knight. He's like the ultimate. For a real man's man. The killing cards. Bastard soda. The golden shield. I need tempered glass for that. The killer whisk. Reinforced guitars. What is that? Coma hammer? Chance to apply stun. That's pretty damn good. Blue metal anklet. Nah. Can I strengthen something? Flaming lumber. Nope. 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 Hmm. I mean, I could upgrade this to see if it actually gets better. Let's see. On the next upgrade. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, it works, right? Yeah, it's it's all right. There we go. Now it's even better. Nice. Whoa. The next one requires Semidane Super X. Anti-corrosion box cutter. Okay. I mean, I guess if it's better, it's better, right? It also gives a uh, 20% projectile resistance. Hi. Hi. Moving on. I gotta do a lot more business so I can get more money. Pinky rabbit. Hey, 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 what's going on in there? Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing in there? Don't have business with the premiere. Hey, I got business uh, at the Ichiban confections. Oh no! He's so oily! He's a grease monk! He's so greasy! Ah, oh, he slid very far. I wonder if that grease is conductive. It is. Very. Oh no, he's fencing pose. Let's go. Bully, 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 bully. Bully, 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 bully. Bully, bully, bully. Get him in the corner. <gasps> no, not the moisture time. Yeah. 
He's so slick! So greasy. Is that a gorilla shirt? Now I can get my apples polished by the number one. M Whoa, hang on a second. What? With finesse. Wait, say what? Say what now? Excuse me. If only I could be reborn as a hot stud. You know what I'd do? I'd waltz into this club right here and get all the ladies. Oh, okay. Okay. Where's that? Why do I keep... I just wanted to get a bite to eat. Okay. You're in it now. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. You're gonna get What wait what what's going on with that guy's head? Bonsai Entis? Bonsai? Bon? Bonsai Entis. Okay, well, he's got a tree on his head. It's fine. There goes the bicycle. He's more tree than man! I'm actually fighting the tree. The man portion is just the puppet. Did, did YouTube censor that, Apollo? He's more tree than man. Why? All right, let's find out the secrets. You ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Apollo said he's more tree than man. That's it. And if YouTube censored it. Listen. I don't I don't get it. Whatever. Draconian archaic censorship. Whatever, it's fine. Yo, it's bumping right now.
master. You were born in a dump much like this one, weren't you? I mean, this it's place looks while. pretty no nice. Master. I wouldn't call it a dump. I figured you'd want to see me. I know what you want to ask. Why did I change my name? Why am I a politician? Why did I help destroy the Tojo clan? And are you curious about my lack of a wheelchair these days? You actually willing to explain any of it? I am. My condition was cured in America. I got a lung transplant. Did you know that if you drop a stack of cash into the right palm over there, you can buy an organ? Incredible. But even with deep pockets, nothing is simple for the son of a Yakuza boss. That why you changed your name? Yes. I did it because I was born the son of Masumi Arakawa, and because my condition robbed me of the youth everyone else got to have. I was happy to change my name and start a new life separate from all of that. <laughs> and look at the results. I'm not only the governor, but also the chair of the ruling party. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't bring yourself to congratulate me? Not from the heart, no. Are you even happy as a politician? Politics is a good life. Unlike the Yakuza, you don't have to use violence to assert control. I can improve people's lives, and they're grateful to me for it. You think Ogasawara's grateful? You killed him. <laughs> oh, that... That was just a sensible precaution. Man, listen to yourself. <laughs> Come on. After you kidnapped him, he ran his mouth about Bleach Japan, did he not? He was never much for discretion. He swore to me that he didn't tell you anything, of course. But I could see the truth in his eyes. That sealed his fate. So... You just kill people over an assumption? Without even bothering to check? I'm checking now. Did he tell you the secrets of Bleach Japan or not? Well, that's... I mean... See? Proper risk management is all about mitigating threats before they... But he was your buddy! He helped you start Bleach Japan! Being at the top means you have to know when people are no longer... relevant. Like father, like son, right? My father looked after you for years, but when he had to, he cut you from the family. That's not how it went down. He asked me to go to prison to keep the whole Arakawa family safe. <laughs> you think that's why? Captain Sawashiro killed some guy who reported directly to the Tojo clan. If we had let Sawashiro get arrested, the Arakawa family would have had to own up to it, since they were lower on the ladder. <laughs> oh, Kasuga. Whether you went to prison or not, Sawashiro wasn't going to be arrested. You don't know that. Oh, but I do. Because Sawashiro didn't kill that guy in the first place. What? As I recall, that night was the last time I saw you. Yeah, that club in Kamurucho we went to. On New Year's Eve. Yeah, it was your girlfriend's birthday. Right. I've certainly had better nights. What? Young Master! How long have you been there? Um... Who's this guy? Young Master? I don't recognize him. So... Did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass.
Oh, is he gonna kill the person? Did I call that? Did I call it? Are you okay, sir? Shut up! Don't touch me. Let's go, honey. I'm sure he's just drunk. Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Don't, don't look at me! He's trying to get back to his wheelchair. No, just kidding. <laughs> you think you're hot shit because you know how to hold a gun? Where'd you buy that thing, huh? Your local toy shop? Huh? You want me to pull the trigger, you son of a bitch? Do it if it's even a real gun. Go on. Do it! What are you gonna do, shoot me? Come on. Fucking do it if you've got the balls. Do it, huh? That what the girls say about you too? <sighs> Little bitch like you ought to know better. Now you're dead. <sighs> Dumbass. Do it if you're gonna. <sighs> Zero. I, I fucked up. I killed the guy. Ah! Called it. Remember that crime that uh, Kasuga got put away for? That was it. Wait. You were the one who killed Suzumori? Yes. I told Sawashiro what I did, then went home. Lucky for me, there were no witnesses. So I didn't go in Sawashiro's place. I went in your place. <laughs> That's right. Dad sold you to the law to protect his only son. Obviously, he couldn't just tell you how it really happened. 
That's why he lied that you were taking the fall for Sawashiro. You swallowed the bait whole and happily marched yourself to the station. So tell me, do you still trust the old asshole? <laughs> I can only imagine how you must feel. Doing 18 years of hard time would have been bad enough. But then there was the other event. After giving him such a huge portion of your life, you finally see him and... Bang. Right? <clears throat> Must feel horrible even now. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Well, say something, Ichi. It doesn't matter what you say. I trust Arakawa-san. <laughs> then answer one question for me. Why are you in Ichincho? Couldn't tell you. Maybe because I'm Ichi Bad Kasuga. The guy who hits rock bottom but always crawls back up. I see. Even after all these years, somehow you've managed to stay just as dumb. Well, you know this guy loves it's to manipulate people. He's doing it now. Or at least he's trying to. I can't even bring myself to be mad. What an honor. You know, I thought this meeting was going to be a setup. But you came alone, like you promised. So I guess I'm touched too. What? You thought I'd have you killed? No. There's no sense in squishing an ant. I'll let you live. We do go way back after all. But I do have one condition. Don't ever come near me or dad again. Understand? Well, I've got my own condition. Pull out of Ichin Show and get Kume to end his campaign. Pardon? I may not be cut out for politics, but Kume sure as hell ain't either. Actually, the Citizens Liberal Party agrees with you. Kume is ignorant and inexperienced. If he didn't have our support, he'd lose for sure. Then why are you having him run? <laughs> so everyone can see my value. Uh, what? Think about it. If Kume wins, how will the Citizens Liberal Party react? They'd realize that an endorsement from Rio Aoki can turn entire elections, even in favor of a simpleton. It will be crystal clear that I have the skill and influence to replace Oli Kubo. They'll watch and learn. So, Kume's just a tool to you. An election is nothing more than a game of strategy. Are these Ijinjo revitalization shelters part of your game too? Oh, those. <laughs> those are the most useful tools of all. With them, I can round up all the illegal residents at once. Wait, what? I thought the shelters were helping people get visas. <laughs> Don't be absurd. The people going to them would never qualify for visas. Mm -hmm. The shelters will bust them to the Immigration Bureau, where they'll be deported. For real? I knew You're it! You're lying to them right to their faces? I'm not lying. The shelter's purpose is there in its name. It's revitalizing Ijincho by cleansing it of criminals. Just give me an answer. Are you going to accept my conditions or not? Nope. Absolutely not. Well... Then I guess there's no chance of us finding common ground. Did you actually think I'd come here tonight because I wanted to negotiate? Remember what I said earlier. The only reason you're still alive is because I took pity on you. If I stop pitying you, you don't have much left. What the hell is this? The boys! 
They thought the young master said he would come alone. That makes you a fool for believing him when he said it. And for rejecting his offer. Guess I'm kind of old-fashioned that way. I tend to take people at their word. Alone means alone. This way, Ichiban! Go! Hey! Guys, why are you here? Just get out of the damn way! Let's go! <laughs> that was just some guy going, Hey, what up, man? It's not opening! Listen to me next time. <laughs> Just talk it into a can. <laughs> Namba just clipped through the dumpster. Uh, just the infield missed a few grounders. Hey, you know, there Time he is, right there. Reserves. Let's give Captain Sawashiro a show. Break through him! Right. Watch, uh, hey, no, we'll do, uh, now we'll save it for later. We'll do hammer swing. Yo, we got some new beats. You got a joke? You want to hear it? Sure. Tell me. Bond more like Ichi Dad. You're gonna be in a world. Uh, okay, yeah, it's fine. Where is the? You're gonna get stomped. You're in it now. I thought there was a skill for him to put go on defense. That must be for um, the policeman. Damn those misses. There we go. Right. Keep your Gotta do 
something about this. Let's go. Yep, the roots of spit and fire. Hey, he's weak to it, so why not? Ah, yes, there we go. Sleep grenade. Goblin swipe. The goblin swipe. He got he got uh the burn, the damage over time. Just drop the orbital laser, Ichi. Who's this guy in the camo? Oh, it's flower print. Isn't this all a little much just to take me out? Come on. Maybe it is. But then again, you did survive being shot. So taking precautions makes sense. So this here's the guy who took a bullet from the cap. Thought you'd have some meat on you. Like you're kind of scrawny, ain't you? He's got some really <laughs> wide ears. Don't get cocky. Make sure he dies here. In that case, how about we draw and quarter him? <laughs> no way he pulls out of that one, eh? <laughs> the tater swipe. It is the tater swipe. The goblin. <laughs> Ever seen a tuna carving? Get ready for the human version. When I'm done, oh hi, I'll doggy. put his head in a box and ship it to you tomorrow. Just He's got a little right. goblin pose. <laughs> you leaving? Scared? No. I just don't want any of your blood on my suit. So you're still the type to leave all the dirty work to your peons. Guess after all these years, you didn't learn shit from Arakawa-san. You never shut up about the boss. I've always hated that. Let him say what he wants, boss. <laughs> Poor little shit only has a couple of minutes to live. No. We're that's enough talk. We're gonna. I'm gonna have a fight with him, and he's gonna fucking. He's gonna drop Let's his cool, and he's gonna be screaming and like, ah, you fucker! I hated you. I always have. And he's just gonna go, shut up. I love what Nama just kind of. All right, let's see here. Yep, this is that's a Goro. I recognize that. I use that move all the time. All right, let's throw some pound mates out. We need some damage. We need some damage, boys. This was the black market dealer. Nothing personal. Yo, that bleed. I really wanted the monkey to be a, a pound mate, but he's he he's an he's an employee at the uh, Ichiban Holdings instead. Let's go! 
Let's, um, uh, hmm. Let's drink some, uh, MP. So I'll have it later. I'll just orbital laser the, uh, the next fart. Oh, you son of a gun. Alright, I guess I'm gonna do it now then. Nah, we'll just do, uh, we'll do this one. Yeah, you got it, Apollo. You guys are strong. Yo, what's up, anime? Do a jewel breaker. Drop kicks and she flew off the screen. Check this out. Right. Ready now. You're in it now. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh, this guy guards. He's weak to this, though. And now he's paralyzed. Goblin swipe! Do the little... <laughs> Alright, we got a bully. Got a bully. Bully, bully, bully. Bully, 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 bully. Drop the elbow. Nama's dead! <laughs> Nama died! Come on, let's go. 
I'm saving. I'm saving. I'm saving. For for big boy. <laughs> Oh, this guy's just, it's just, he looks like a goblin. Damn, Namba. Alright, well, how about this? Let's do, um, let's get some MP back. Taters is in Yakuza! <laughs> I summon you! but poses in the distance. Well, he did take a lot of damage from this. What is it? Wait, what is this? Playful Splash? Enemy with a Colt. What is this? Okay, all right, all right. Hmm. Now nah, let's do this one. It's time to get nutty. No, this is just because uh, I got a good business. That's for getting number one in uh, Ijincho province. <laughs> Orbital nut! No more ouchies. You want some more pound mates? Um, Get serious. I mean, which one should I do? Which one should I do? I mean, we haven't seen this guy in a while. Nah. You want to fight? Let's protect ourselves first. That's a good one. That's a good one. Goblins. 
Get in there, goblin! <laughs> He's a, it's a tuna carving knife. Cover the party. Nah, just that. All right. Uh, the raw ingredients you take it to the bartender. At, um... What is that place called again? Our home base, essentially. And then, uh, he'll, he'll make them into, uh, bento meals. <laughs> Comically large tuna carving knife! <laughs> And Namba with the Toral win. Look at me go. Moving up in the world. Yes, tunas are very big. I'll take it. Sweet. Sweet. How much of that cash is real? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> Weren't you saying you were gonna put my head in a box and ship it to the captain? No, let the taters go. Surprise to see your head in there then. Maybe just a foot. I was really gross. Are all Omi Alliance dudes like that? They're the biggest Yakuza group in the country. I'm sure they have even crazier guys. And that's what's flooding into Ijincho? Great. What about the armpit liquor? <laughs> Ichiban! Hamako-san, is something wrong? I was just at the shelter. The shelter? They're shipping people out! I was taking something to one of the girls. She forgot it at my place. They wiping us out! But, but they were all gone. That was quick. None of the staff would tell me where they went. I don't know what's going on. Calm down, Hamako-san. Please, help me find them. Hey, I'm really, really sorry. But they aren't in Japan anymore. What? The shelter was just a trap for mass deportations. No! Those girls, they don't have anyone to help them in the countries they came from. That's why they came to Ijincho in the first place. I just wanna... I just wanted to give them a chance. How did this happen? Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, my son. If only I hadn't told them to go to the shelter. If only I'd realized sooner. It's not your fault. You did what you thought was best for them. He's right. Don't blame yourself. You were on their side until the end. <laughs> what did they deport them for? They were there I'm illegally. So sorry. So Bleach Japan is gathering them all up and deporting them. 
back to who knows where. I told Hamako-san to get some rest. Thanks, Sachan. Ijin Cho just keeps taking hit after hit. Remember what Jungi Han said? How we should basically get out of here while we can? Maybe we should consider that, for real. You want to run? I mean, isn't the situation kind of hopeless at this point? Hopeless, huh? Well, you got a place we can all go? Uh, not off the top of my head, no. How about you, Adachi-san? Nope. I don't even have family to stay with. My parents died a long time ago. Psycho? I mean, I could leave, but I would never abandon my sister or my father like that. Sounds like we've settled that then. Settled what? That none of us can run away from this. We're in the same boat as the Komi Jewel and the Liuma. So our only option is to fight, with or without hope. And personally, I say there is hope. How? How is there a chance of winning? It doesn't matter. A long time ago, Arakawa-san told me something. If you go into a fight thinking you got a chance to win, you're just being a bully. Uh, what the hell? I'm not gonna lie, that sounds kind of stupid. Hell no. A real fight's when you go up against someone so strong, you got no chance. Our enemies are the Omi Alliance and the Citizens Liberal Party. The crime lords from below are teaming up with the law from above. And I say bring it on. We're going up against all of Japan, basically. Too much for you, Adachi-san? Going soft on me? <laughs> Don't be stupid. I couldn't ask for a better fight. Let's do it. But can we include Tokyo PD in that law part so I can kick their asses too? Hell yeah! Put them on the list! Good enough for me! You guys are ridiculous. You know that, right? So, tell me about it. But... Admit it, you like that about us. Yeah... What is my damage? Nanba! Sachan! Join us, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can skip the pep talk. <laughs> That's why I keep you guys around. You sure, Namba? Your brother's okay now, and he's getting married. What skin do you have in the game? Yeah, I know I've been a butt, but if my friends are gonna fight, so will I. I'm all in now. Besides, it'll make for a great speech at my brother's wedding. That settles it. Let's knock them on their asses. Whoa. The dragon stirs. And it's late. <laughs> oh my god, it's really late. This game is so anime. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what they were going for. Yeah, so we've been going for a little while. It's, I didn't even notice the time. So we're going to end it as soon as something loads and I can get some background music going. Chapter 12, The End of Yakuza. Hang on. Hang on now. Yes, we're, I'm just going to quit it right now. Zhao was uh, cooking. All right, everyone. Thank you uh, for joining. I'll see you again. Take care. Stay safe and awesome. And bye-bye.